So your friend's making a video and they want you to help them get it out there. Well, they can go f themselves. Here's how to make sure that you'll be of no help to your content creating friend whatsoever. As you know, sharing is caring. And we don't. With a share, your friend's content may find its way to other eyes that aren't yours. Other eyes that will genuinely support the content to the point that it reaches widespread visibility and maybe, just maybe, changes your friend's life for the better. This is not what we want. The buck must stop with you, or else they might actually succeed. Okay, so hopefully you didn't need to hear step one and haven't thought of sharing at all. Good, keep this up. In fact, try your best to not let thought corrupt your way of being unhelpful. Do not put any thought into what your friend's up to. Do not wonder why they're asking people to check out their projects or what they want to do with their life. And for all that is selfish, do not, I repeat, do not think about how something goes viral. The more you don't think, the better. Thinking it over, even if just for a moment, could lead to understanding. And nine out of 10 psychologists agree that empathy could lead to recurring moments of being helpful. So do not do that. Just stick to clicking like on whatever they post. Liking instead of sharing is perfect because it lets you look like you care without actually doing the thing that would help your friend out. Which, as I hope you haven't been thinking, is what someone would do if they actually cared enough to think about what their friend needs most. Let's say this is your friend. And obscurity is whooping their ass. Help! Can't you see stick out my ass? Could you get other people's attention? Sure. Would that get them out of their predicament? Yeah. Good thing we're not thinking that far. You can't help if you don't take the time to understand. So turn that brain off and smash the bulb. Sometimes it happens. You went on autopilot and you accidentally pressed the share button. You spread Joe Jean's creativity. Well, don't worry, because all is not lost. You still have the comment part of your post. What you want to do is make sure you tell people that Joe Jean is your friend. Telling someone, check out the song my friend made is a surefire way to make sure nobody will want to. Do you want to hear your friend's friend's band? F no, you want to hear a good band. So don't slip up and do something stupid like typing badass song or can't believe no one's heard of these guys. That has mystery, that's intriguing, it would actually work. Remind people it's your friend. That way the only person checking out their content will be them and the reflection of their toaster as they cannonball into a bathtub. <laughs> Look, honestly, your friend needs one thing, and one thing only. Your help in this digital game of hot potato that is word of mouth on the internet. That's all they need. You enthusiastically going, hey, look at this, that's, that's it. And there's really no reason not to do it. If you like them, you'll be giving them a huge boost towards their goals, something no amount of likes can do. And if you secretly hate them, sharing their stuff and helping them be successful will give you even more reason to hate them. It's like recycling. And if you really hate them, what better way to crush their spirit than to help them achieve their wildest dreams so they can realize success doesn't mean happiness and they've completely misjudged what matters in life. God, that would suck, wouldn't it? Help them feel that. This is something you could do for anyone making a video, painting, making music, even outside of the creative realm. You can help somebody with a small business. You could do all kinds of stuff, but just being thoughtful, help them. They need you. I need you. No, all right, that's uh, completely misread that. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna get going. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go. Okay. Help your friends. Bye.